If you had one wish in life, if you could have one thing in life, what would it be? Many people would say, oh, give me a million dollars, give me millions of dollars. Because I think then they could buy all the things that will get them what they want. Thinking a bit deeper, others would say, no, I want health and prosperity. Others will say, no, I want to succeed in life. I want to be recognized. I want success. I want to achieve my ambitions and passions. Others just want a harmonious and happy family life. Friendships, meaningful friendships. Others want to go more on the intellectual level, understand things. Maybe it might be to succeed or excel in your chosen field or profession or sporting endeavours to become a professional, to win the Olympics. There are so many things people want. Some of them grandiose, other than others very simple. But if you look at them, there's really only one thing we all want. Whether it's to enjoy an ice cream or to enjoy nirvana, it's that we all want to be happy. Happy in that broad sense of the term, that which gives us mental ease or peace or satisfaction. And so we spend, if you look at yourself, you spend the whole of our lives chasing after what we think will make us happy. You're watching this video because you think it might make you happy. In other words, it will give you something that will agree to you. If you didn't think it would make you happy in some way, then you wouldn't watch it. If you thought, oh, I'm going to be really bored watching this, or I'm not interested at all in what this guy's got to talk about, then you wouldn't watch it. Unless maybe someone was paying you, then you'd think, oh, I'll do it because it will give me money, which then I could buy things which will make me happy. Subconsciously, you're thinking this. Everything we're doing is the ultimate motiv motivating force is to make us happy. We'll even do things which initially makes us very unhappy. Classic cases, having children because of the joy that the children bring, even though the process of giving birth is very painful. Many jobs people do, they don't like, but they do it because it gives them the money to pursue the things they wanted to. An adventurer will undergo tremendous hardships to climb that mountain. It's because of the joy or the happiness that ascending and reaching the top gives them that achievement. And when you think of the early explorers of different countries, what they went through, why? Because there was something driving them that when they achieved it would give them great happiness. In fact, so strong is this happiness, it's, it's the strongest instinct in all of us. Or the desire for happiness will overcome fear, will overcome the um, aversion, all sorts of things will do. In fact, it is so strong, if we don't get enough of this happiness, then we think of ending our life. We think life is not worth living. This is what we're saying to ourselves. It shows you how strong the desire for happiness is. It is our cardinal instinct. But the problem is our desire for happiness is not limited to just a little bit of happiness. We actually want unlim unlimited happiness. This is one of the things that separates us from animals. Animals can be satisfied with just a bit. But humans, as soon as that happiness has ended, that satisfaction, then we're looking for more again, whether it's after eating one ice cream, we think about we might like something else, or then we go on to something else. 
So the question is how to get unlimited happiness. This is really what we want in life. The yogis found thousands of years ago that nothing in this world will give us unlimited happiness. And because of that, because eventually it will die or change or get destroyed, be it because it's from an object or from a person, it's also the cause of our unhappiness when it changes or dies and it gives us great grief and misery. And people get to a point in their life where they're sick of this misery, these ups and downs, all these dramas, and they want something more lasting, more fulfilling. And this is why we turn to meditation, because the yogis found meditation is the key, spiritual meditation, meditation on that unlimited, unending source of happiness is what we really want and what we really, really need to do. And so this is why we meditate, to fulfill our innermost desire, that is to have unending happiness. And by tuning in, by merging our minds with our inner self, our higher spiritual self, cosmic consciousness, God, call it whatever you like, our soul. It, is not, only gives, it not only gives us great happiness, but it's extremely peaceful, fulfilling, loving, we call it blissful. There's no real words to describe it because nothing in this world gives us the feeling that we get when we truly merge our, our whole being with this higher self, with our infinite loving self. When you experience this infinite self, because it is infinite, in fact it's the essence of this universe, we develop strong universal feelings. We feel the world's happiness is our happiness, the world's sorrow is our sorrow. So naturally we want to serve others as extensions of our inner spiritual self. No longer do we feel everyone is separate, but we feel everyone is just an expression of that one infinite consciousness, which we are also personally an expression. We're not this body, we're not even this mind, but we are expressions of the infinite. This very loving, blissful, infinite entity. So this is why we meditate, to find out who we really are and to know our purpose in life. Because as we merge closer and closer with our true infinite self, this is what we begin to understand intuitively more and more. Because we're filling one with a cosmic, with the universal self. And so we move according to that universal flow rather than our individual ignorant, ignorant egotistical flows, which we normally live in. Reacting from one thing to the next rather than responding out of love for the infinite. So now you've learned to meditate. Now the question is you just have to apply it with patience and perseverance. The more you do it, the more you experience what I'm talking about. And then you'll truly understand why you are here and what the real meaning of life is.